Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on command sign. Now this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to link commands to pressure plates, buttons and of course signs. Before we get into the video I made another plugin tutorial for server miner. I will leave a link in the comments and at the top of the description so make sure you check them out, subscribe and you will get double the plugin videos. So let's take a look at the plugin now. I've set up a little demonstration to show you an idea of what the plugin is like. If we click this button here, it will perform the forward slash warp button command and cost me $10. This button here will say hello and cost me $5. So if we check my balance, we can see it's 841. Click the sign and or the button I should say and it will go down to 836. Here we have a sign and if I click it, there will be a three second delay before the command is performed. It will take one dollar from me and I will not be able to use it until 10 seconds have passed. So there's a lot you can do with this plugin. Um, you can have any command you want. You can add permissions, temporary permissions, time delay. It's very, very good. Um, and let's check out this pressure plate. This is a five second delay uh, before it performs the forward slash jump command like so. So let's go down here again and we are going to make this button do something. Maybe give us a kit or something. So what kits have we got? Let's give it um, kit color for example. So what we need to do is command sign create. Once we've done that we can right click either a pressure plate, a button or a sign. So let's right click the, the button. And once you've done that you can do all of this in here. So type 2 in chat to, ch to change the name. It's going to be called button 3. Once you've done that, you can type 3 and whether you want it disabled or not. So obviously we want it enabled, so we're going to set that to false. Then permissions needed. Do we want any permissions? We can type 2 to add a permission string, maybe um, command sign dot button 3. And that would be the permission people need to use it. Or we can go to 4 and remove it by typing 1. So it's very straightforward, everything is done via typing numbers in chat like this. Uh, so let's move down to cost. So how much is it going to cost? As you can see, economy is currently zero, so it's free. Uh, but we could change that to any amount, maybe a hundred dollars, very expensive button. And then click nine, and that's set like that. Uh, timer is the next option, number six. And this is a very awesome feature. There are lots of different options here. So time before execution, cancel on move, reset on move and time between usages. So if we select five, you can use it every, I don't know, uh, minute, so 60 seconds, and time before execution, let's set that as four seconds, like that, and then click nine for done. Then we can uh, set temporary permissions if we want, so maybe you could give someone a particular kit for 20 minutes or something. Um, you could do that, or something else, maybe fly mode temporarily. And finally, commands. What commands do we want it to perform? You can do multiple. So um, if we add a command, we can do forward slash kit color like that. And then we can add another one, maybe forward slash say, I just got a kit from the button, or something like that. And then we can add another one, uh, say hello, forward slash say hello, like that. And then hit nine for done. And finally, nine again for done. So if we right click this, in four seconds, it will perform all three of those commands and it will cost us 100. So as you can see, we receive kit color and we perform two messages in chat. So that is how it works. If you want to edit it, it's very straightforward. So command sign edit, and then we click on the block we want to edit. And there we go. We have the options up again and we just click whichever one we want. So we could change the cost, number five, and go to 2, change it from 100 to 0, and then it's free. So then 9, done, 9 again, 4 done. And there we go. So we still need to wait 34.9 more seconds uh, until we can use it again, uh, which is a really awesome feature that it shows you that. Uh, there isn't too much in the config file. It just saves various messages that it will perform, so you don't really need to mess around with that. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.